Morning everybody, welcome back to another episode. I'm the Yorkshire Fossil Hunter. Today I've come to Cloughton, which is just past Scarborough, a bit further north than Scarborough. Uh, there's a good chance of dinosaur footprints and uh, other various bits and bobs here. There has been, you know, some nice trace fossils and, and echinoids and starfish and stuff like that here. Very, very rare. But, you know, you've got to come to these places to get the, the rare stuff. So let's see what today brings. Tad's just on its way out by myself today, so I won't venture too far, but yeah, beautiful day. Really nice day to be out. I've been grafting all week. Ugh. And uh so it'll be good to get out today and just just be on the beach really, be on the coast. It's so good for the you know for the mind. So yeah. Fingers crossed, let's see what today brings everybody and I will see you soon. So straight away when you come to anywhere around here, Cloughton, Berniston, uh, Wycombe and places like that, you'll get straight on the onto this sort of sandstone material and you can always see like ripples on, on the sea floor. Do you know, so that's always a good indication. You know, and all stuff like this, I think it's just bits of crushed plants and stuff like that very rare you get ammonites up here you know they're probably washed down from further up north but it's just a different kettle of fish around here for for fossil hunting so it's very hard going i wouldn't advise it if you're not good on your feet it's just all big boulders as you can see but let's carry on i'm sure there'll be some soon So it's not amazing but I think that's a bit of bit of plant remains maybe from the uh, horsetail plant I think that's what it's called but there's absolutely tons of trace fossils all these imprints and marks you can see they're all trace fossils I've seen a couple of dinosaur footprints but they've been really squashed and uh, you know not very well preserved so I'm waiting until hopefully I see a good one to show you so I don't know if you can work this out but can you see the arms coming off there I think that's a that's a starfish it's really really worn so it's not not really some I don't think is collectible but it's brilliant to see I'll take some pictures of that because I think if you cut that out I think it'll just fall apart it's it's eating away behind it and stuff, so I'll take some pictures so everyone can enjoy it. So you can see this full slab is absolutely packed with little shells. Hopefully you can see it, am I right in the way? The sun's shining the wrong way, but there's there's crinoids, there's gastropods. Let me see if I can get her on the other side. I'll take some still pictures and add them to it now because there's loads of detail in here I can't see anything jumping out at me but that's cool to see so you might have to use your imagination a little bit but if you can see one two three it's not the best preserved dinosaur footprint, but it is a dinosaur footprint, I can assure you. Uh, a pteropod, pheropod, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, but yeah, dinosaur footprints. Hopefully we'll get something a bit better than that today. I'll leave that one there again, I'll take a picture of it. So you can see all that all that black material is probably plant and then there's tracks like this which is likely from an arthropod or even some some worm burrow or something but definitely some creature made that 
millions and millions of years ago. It's quite hard going on here. Big boulders. <sighs> Beautiful day though. I don't know how well you can see that but there's a huge piece of wood in there maybe a bit there and bits of bobs of plant it doesn't preserve as well as the Whitby jet but in my opinion the details a little bit better so yeah it's nice to see but it's a bit barren here today there aren't many fresh falls which is what you sort of rely on in a place like this but yeah I haven't travelled that far yet so you never know what's around the next corner some sort of uh, I think it's the tip of a pinner valve in there maybe another one next to it as well it's quite a decent size one So you can see again the three footprints it's very very squashed and a bit misshaped but that's a dinosaur footprint oh. none that I've uh, wanted to collect so far they want to be really really crisp you know if you wanted to og them off the beach because they're heavy you can just see in the distance there's um, Oh, I can't remember what it's called. The waterfalls, is it Wayburn Wake or something like that? I'll find out later on. But yeah, I'm going to go up there and then I'm going to walk the headland all the way back to Cloughton. Because I out walking back, I'm absolutely shattered. But yeah, up to now, there's, there's nothing to collect, but there's been some good stuff to, to see. And sometimes that's the beauty of fossil hunting. And you don't always have to pick stuff up. You can just enjoy the fossils. <sighs> Well, I wasn't expecting any of this today, but there's some lovely fern fossils there, some lovely plant fossils. A bit of stalk on the back, but they're nice. That's probably my best find of the day today, so that'll go in my bag. <laughs> so at least I'm not going home empty handed. The way up to this waterfall here, I might go to that like headland and back because I've got a bit of time to spare. Never mind the fossils today, look at that. Right everybody, that's me done for the day. So the farms were plentiful, but there was some nice stuff there, some nice footprints. And I mean, that, if that was a starfish, that was that was pretty special. It's the first one I've seen in situ. I'm sure people will be telling me to go back and collect it if it was, but it would just be destroyed by trying to collect it. But yeah, a brilliant day. Good to get out, good for the soul. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you on my next adventure.